Hey guys, it's Callan Olive from Mindful Therapy Solutions, and today we're going to try something a little bit different. I saw this video on Facebook that's gone viral, and I just wanted to kind of talk about it. So this video, um, it's by Joey Salads, who is a YouTuber who does social experiments. Uh, this video is interesting and kind of different. It talks about how we shouldn't be on our phones or distracted while we're playing at the park with our kids because it's easy for somebody to abduct them. While this video has lots of great stuff and it has a good point, I didn't like some other things that I saw in this video, so I thought I would talk about those today. In the video, we see a wife come to Joey and say, hey, I don't think my husband pays very much attention to my kid while we're at the park or while he's at the park with him. He's on his phone all the time. I bet he's going to be on his phone and that you could abduct him. Okay. So then Joey, Joey goes in and, and is able to abduct the kid with some candy and the dad, um, you know, can't find him and all of that. So step one, first thing that I saw that made me cringe in this video before the abduction even happened was the fact that this wife, instead of just talking to her husband about this being a problem, decided to go to Joey and have him publish it on YouTube to shame her husband about this being a problem. So from a, from a couple's therapist standpoint, it made me cringe because this is not an effective way to solve a problem in a relationship, people. It's just not. <laughs> we Publishing your relationship problems or really any problems about your relationship on YouTube without the knowing consent of your partner, probably not going to move you very far along in your relationship. I'm just going to throw that out there. So that was, that was the first thing. Okay. The second thing, she automatically assumed that he was going to be on his phone, that he was going to be doing this bad thing um, and behaving badly. That is called negative sentiment override. Basically, the assumption that everything your partner is doing is negative rather than looking for the positive things that he might be doing. So instead of saying, well, he does play with him for a little while before he gets on his phone, we're going to just look and focus on the phone thing. Okay, so so that's the beginning of the video. Then it pans over and we see the, you know, the dad on the phone and the boy playing in the park. We don't know. We don't know if he spent an hour playing with the kid on the playground before he sat down to take a break on the phone. And that's the one moment where they start filming. We don't know. Um, what we do know is that this poor dad is going to look up from his phone and realize that his son is missing. Okay, now just stop for a second and realize that as a parent, I have I have a child that age, but as a parent, what would that feel like to be looking around the park and realize that your child is missing? That would be an awful feeling. So I get what they're trying to do with this video. I get how important it is that we pay attention to our kids and keep them safe. What I don't get is why this wife would want her husband to feel that way. Why would anybody wish that on their spouse? That is not healthy. It's not. <laughs> um, okay, so so then he's looking around for the kid, can't find him, and then what happens? Confrontation. The wife comes in and starts yelling at the yelling at her husband, and the husband's yelling back, "Where is he? Where is he?" And they're cussing and they're criticizing each other and defensive and all of these various things that as a couples therapist, I would be pointing out in session as bad things to do if you want to grow closer in your relationship. <laughs> so all of these things, bad things to do. So then, you know, we bring the kid back and he obviously is very grateful that nothing actually did happen to his kid. But then we're done. You know, that's the lesson. The lesson is don't be on your phone while you're at the park. But for me, the lesson was, man, these kids are watching their parents have this kind of interaction. It's going to be posted on YouTube for them to see the rest of their lives. Their parents having an interaction where the mom thought it was important to sh publicly shame her husband. Not good for me. As a couples therapist, not good. <laughs> um, 
just as harmful, maybe not just as harmful, but surely harmful to these kids is the fact that their parents are displaying this kind of dynamic in their relationship where shame and criticism and defensiveness and cursing at each other and, you know, all of that publicly, we're going to post it on YouTube, um, is seen as, as being kind of the norm, as being okay. So here's, here's how that could have gone. Here's how that would have been a little bit healthier. The wife goes to her husband and says, hey, you know, I noticed last time that we were at the park that you were on the phone quite a bit. And I get that you're working and things like that when you're on the phone, but I'm worried that if you're on the phone that, you know, something bad could happen to him. He might get hurt. You know, somebody could take him. So because I'm worried about that, would you mind just scaling back on how much you use the phone or just don't use the phone while you're at the park with him because it would make me feel better. And then the husband would say, you know, I hadn't thought about that, but I will try hard to uh, scale that back or make sure that I'm not using the phone while I'm at the park with him. I think you're right. I think that that would help him be safe. Uh, imagine how much different that conversation could have been. So, so I get, I get the video. I get the experiment. It, it made me cringe to think that that could happen so quickly to my child, but it also made me cringe to think, this marriage is being displayed as something that's acceptable and okay when in reality this relationship is not in a good place so anyway my two cents if you if you agree with this video if you saw the other video and you agree with what i if with my take and my spin go ahead and share it um and i will i will see you guys next time